Hello, I'm Shikufen. Very welcome to physics classroom. At this session, I want to talk about the skydiver force and uh, what the forces on the parachutes. So let's see what happens when the skydivers jump out of the airplane. Okay, this person has jumped just out of the airplane or the helicopter. His parachute is still not open. One force is only acting on it. Only one force acting on this person, and that's the force of the weight or gravity, and it is downward. Downward, the center of the alpha force, because it's coming for pulling it down to the us. So this person, because of the force of the gravity on it, it's accelerating downward to the ground. So this person is accelerating downwards due to gravity, to the force of gravity. After that, still the pressure is not open. So what happens next? Here, another force starts to appear or form on the person. And it is because of the air particles that are opposing and doesn't let them and the person to move easily into the air. And it's called of the force of friction or air friction. Okay, the friction should be in the opposite direction to the gravitation, gravity force or the weight. So this part is still smaller than the gravity. The force of the friction should be smaller than the gravity after for earlier stages. After that, gradually, it starts increasing. Force of the friction increasing and the gravity uh, becomes less. So that, until they become in the one uh, position here uh, equal. So here, if until the time, until the time, or as long as the force of the friction is less than the gravity, the person is still accelerating downward to the ground. So, as long as force of the friction or the air friction is less than the gravity, what do we have? Accelerating downward. The next stage is still the pressure is closed, but we reach to the uh, time that the force of the friction and the gravity become equal. If and the friction force and the gravity are equal in sizes. So what happens? There won't be any acceleration anymore. So the, uh, the person is not accelerating. And here we have first terminal velocity. I mean from here onward, the, uh, the speed will be uh, constant. It doesn't change because there is no acceleration. And we call it as the first terminal, terminal velocity. Then yeah, let's see what happens after that. At the next stage, um, the person has opens the parachute. If the open, who is the parachute? The parachute here has a very wide surface area. This wide surface area means more friction. The wider the surface area, we have more friction because the air molecules here are gathering or accumulating here under the parachute and pushing the object upward. So we have a sudden increase in the force of the friction. So the friction suddenly becomes more than gravitational force. And they're still in the opposite direction, of course. So when friction is more than gravity, a little bit the object will, uh, of course, it slows down by still going downward. And the speed becomes less than before. What, do, what does that mean? It means the speed here, because the object is decelerating or slowing down, it means that the speed here is less than the speed at any stages before this stage number four. Now, after this, again the same thing starts happening. I mean, the force of the friction gradually and the gravity, they little by little, they change, the size changes, of course, not the direction. The, the size or magnitude of these forces will change until they become equal again, as you can see here. Force of the friction or air friction here and the gravity. They continue growing up or becoming less until they become equal in the sizes. So here, friction is equal 
of the gravity force. Because if you become equal, the acceleration has a stall, means there is no more accelerating, and here we have constant speed. So again, we have second terminal velocity. Second terminal velocity. I conclude that the second terminal velocity should be less than the first terminal velocity. This one is less than this one. So the speed here at this stage, number five, is less than the other stages. So the second terminal velocity among uh, the, uh, the second terminal velocity is less than first terminal velocity. So after that, the person is safely landed. Um, why? Because now the speed is become so much lesser than the what he has started with, and when he lands here yeah, on the ground, of course there are two forces again on this person. One is the force of the gravity or his way downward to the center of the earth, and the other one is the force which is exerted by the ground to the person to balance the gravity force. So we call it as a normal force. So it is what you have to know is overall that uh, when the person jumps at the beginning, there is only one force acting on it, which is the force of the weight or gravity. And uh, the person accelerates down, down, down until the, um, the force, which is formed here, is a for uh, air friction. Uh, its size becomes the same as the gravity, the force of gravity. So here, the, uh, still a, uh, at this stage, so because the force of the uh, friction and the also gravity they are the same, so there is no more acceleration, and the uh, person is uh, going downward still but with the uh, constant speed. And here we have the first terminal velocity, when the force of the friction and the gravity become equal, we have terminal velocity. This is the first terminal velocity, and after when the person opens the pressure here, uh, it starts, uh, a sudden it slows down or deceleration with this pressure experiences here. And uh, at the beginning, the force of friction becomes very high and, uh, compared to the gravity, but gradually uh, they become equal again in the sizes. And uh, so again, we reach to a point that the force of the friction and the gravity become equal. So there is no more acceleration. And this person um, is uh, actually moving downward to the, uh, to the ground uh, with a constant speed again. And so we have here, because there are both forces are equal, we have a terminal velocity. We call it as second terminal velocity. The second terminal velocity is much more lesser than the first terminal velocity in the size. So uh, the size of the or speed of the person here in the second terminal velocity is less than this one. And after that it lands on the ground, so there are only two forces acting on the person. One of them is the gravity or the weight of the first person that uh, because of the due to the gravity of the earth is pulling it downward to the center of it. Of it. But there is another force that doesn't let the person to sink into the ass, and it is the, um, uh, due to the force which is exacted from the uh, ground to the person, which is called as a normal force. So we should not forget it. Uh, any, any object placed on the ground or any, any place that is not moving, there are two forces acting on it. One is the normal force from the uh, place that it is on and the other one is the gravity.